All right, today's video got myself a hippie solar panel so Mother Nature can charge my battery. Made by Windy Nation, 100 watt solar panel, $180 ship. The most mainstream solar panel is made by Harbor Freight, 40 watts for $140. So this one absorbs more sun for like $40 more. So hopefully it's a good deal. This is my first foray into hippie power. Sun's running out, but I just got this today. So I'm probably not going to be able to set this up today. Just wanted to see what it looks like. Pretty big solar panel. Going to bolt it to the roof of my van charge controller the wires you have to download the owner's manual here's the brackets probably gonna go a different route I'll probably use some of that but I'm gonna use some sheet metal screws drill it right into the roof so hopefully this comes with everything I'll piece this video together as I install this um, so we could uh, see see how this thing works out okay first thing to report this kit is not complete it comes with the wire that goes from the solar panel to the charge controller comes with the charge controller and mounting brackets but you're also going to need wire that goes from the charge controller to the battery fuse holder and fuses and connectors so that kind of sucks I don't know if the Harbor Freight kit comes with everything you need this kit doesn't but like I said earlier it produces a hundred watts versus 40 for the Harbor Freight kit so let's go ahead and put it together hopefully there's no additional drawbacks okay I have my solar kit all set up it's about 5.30 right now. Windy day, cloudy day. About 60 degrees right now, so it's probably not the optimal weather for solar. But it's running, it's working. So I have to consolidate the wire. 20 feet positive, 20 feet negative. The kit came with 40 feet of wire. I don't want to guess and cut the wire and end up with too short a wire because I guessed so I'm gonna consolidate that once I have the panel bolted onto the roof of my van so that's going into the charge controller right now I'm gonna clean this up once I permanently install it but right now I'm just testing it out seeing if it's working also I have to trim down the wire going to the battery 30 feet of positive and negative going into the battery right now I upgraded to 12 gauge wire to match with the inline fuse I'm gonna fuse it once it's a permanent install but it's working it's been plugged in for about an hour it went from 12.3 to 12.9 volts so it's, it's good it works now I just have to bolt the panel onto the roof of my van put this in the interior and trim down the wire to how much wire I actually need so I don't have excess wire here's a tip for people new to solar or just new to having a battery in your vehicle for accessories get a sealed battery if you use a non sealed battery when you charge it it lets out fumes and that's probably not good to breathe in so get a sealed battery they're pricey but safety first all right all that's left is to hook everything up and it went up another point one I'm up to 13 from 12.3 volts in about an hour it's pretty cool all right let's finish this up okay I'm gonna mount the solar panel offset on the driver's side that way I have room on this side to put the spare tire on if I get a flat, here's a spare tire on the roof. If I get a flat, I'd be able to put it on the roof on the floor and then pick it up and put it on the roof rack. So I'm going to go ahead and bolt. 
bolt the solar panel offset on this direction, on this side. So, I can drill it in right now. Okay, the holes are drilled into the roof. Before I put the panel on the roof, I went ahead and painted the frame black to match the van. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to put like a gasket maker around the around the uh, mounting holes so hopefully it won't leak that way see what happens okay I went ahead and put some gasket maker around the mounting holes already got this one in I'm gonna tighten it down all the way after 24 hours so that it dries up into a nice gasket so I'm gonna go ahead and do all four sides Okay, the panel's bolted in. All I have to do is tighten all the sheet metal screws in about a day. Wait for the gasket maker to dry up, make a better seal. But it's looking good. I have to just hook everything up to the charge controller and the battery, fuse everything up. Almost there. Okay, I'm about 90% done. All I have to do is mount the charge controller right here. Here's the battery. All the wires, I'm gonna wrap these little connectors right here with electrical tape. 10 amp fuse, 10 amp fuse for 100 watt solar panels. Bigger fuses if you have uh, higher watt solar panels. I'm going to put the wire under the carpet, so keep it neat. And with the charge controller, I don't know if you could see it but all you need is a little screwdriver and then you just put the wires in there this one I'm not going to use this is when you put a electrical device directly to the panel and I'm not going to do that so that's it pretty time consuming easy but time consuming about 3-4 hours not too bad alright just going to clean it up now Okay, everything's set up. Decided to mount the charge controller right here instead of here. Because if I mount it right here, I'm going to end up crushing it when I slide the battery out. So put it here instead. Here's the inverter, 12.7 volts right now. Mess of wires right now. Going to cover that up. But other than that, it's all done. Let's go ahead and finish this up. Okay, the solar panel is set up. I'm going to show you guys what everything means. I'll try to explain it the best I can. Still figuring it out myself, but I have a good idea how everything works. Alright, so that first green LED lets you know that the solar panel is absorbing energy. The second LED that's green lets you know the battery's in good condition. If it's uh, yellow, that means the battery is low has a low charge and this third one I have no idea why it's yellow right now this third one indicates that you're connected to an accessory directly to the solar panel but that's not being used right now so no idea why that's yellow so that's my main understanding with everything right now I covered up the solar panel with a blanket and that first green LED turns right off once there's no light being detected by the solar panel. So here's my power inverter. It's at 12.1 volts right now. So I'm drawing 131 watts with the Xbox and the TV. Okay, so if I turn everything off, turn off the TV and the Xbox, now it's at 12.5 volts. It'll go up to 12.6 really quick. There you go. Like this solar panel charges really fast. I think it'll charge a dead battery in about an hour or two. If it's really sunny outside, it's pretty quick. Let's see how long it'll go up to 0.7, 12.7. Keep an eye on that. But pretty straightforward installation. Let me one thing that went wrong is this uh i think they're called mc4 connectors 
this thing didn't connect at all it was like kind of like offset a little bit so it didn't plug in so I just use a splicing connectors to connect the solar panel to the wire and that worked just fine still there you go 12.7 that was less than two minutes that it gained another 0.1 all right that's it I'll put some annotations when I put this video together to let you guys know what went wrong and you know some tips on how to install this thing but for the most part I think I got everything put together all right everyone kick ass be safe and take it easy